Hello everybody, my name is Zad Nazer and welcome to Slender Tubby's beta version 2. I'm sure there's a non-beta version, but this is the f one that this is the one that I found that is currently online. You can play it for yourself. I'll put a link in the description below. Um so here's the story. Uh Slender Tubby Slendy Tubbies is actually based off of a TV show made in Britain called Teletubbies, and Teletubbies was created in 1997. You can check it all out in IMDb. They give it a 3.7 out of 10. Or maybe it's lower now. I don't know. So yeah, all the music right now is decrepit. It's a bunch of little babies and outfits from space. T Slender Tubbies was created in 2012. Now I'm just stalling. Let's just get started. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's day, dusk, and night. We're gonna go for night, guys. Here we go. If it loads. Collect all ten Teletubby, okay. Press six and H to hide your oh hide cursor. There we go. Alright. Oh I can still see my cursor. What is this? Press T to open chat. Um like this is very hard to control. Okay. Um I'm in a very closed environment. Press E to start the game. Oh, this is just okay. Is there anybody here? Hello? Oh, I, I can't. Uh, oh, shoot! I started the game! No! Ah, <laughs> uh, show my cursor. Uh, uh, six. Six? No? Oh, shoot! Okay, game already started. Looks like tell that's uh, slender. Okay, I collected one of the. Uh, ten. Okay. It. Went up pretty quickly. It's just, the problem is my cursor, and I keep running into trees. Can I run? I can't run. Okay, so basically, whenever my cursor goes all the way to the left, it moves all the way to the left. Whenever it moves to the right, it moves all the way to the right. And the stupid chat thing, I can't get rid of it because it hides my cursor whenever it goes into window. And I can't hear anything. Okay, this is great. Um. So with in every single slender game, you basically want to keep moving. Keep moving, you're pretty much safe. Stop moving, you pretty much die. And I've seen some pictures of this game, and this game is pretty horrifying. Just I I hope that there's that, that uh, okay. So like from what I've seen in pictures, it looks like there's a Teletubby that follows you, and when it hits you, you die. And pretty simple, not like Slenderman logic, but like they walk, which is nice. Ah! Ah, okay. Oh, you can see my little feet. I move my. Oh, oh, okay. What was that? Okay, we're at three out of ten. Ah. And there's a customization bar which I'm not gonna deal with right now because I'll stop moving. And if I stop moving, I'll get caught. But it doesn't seem like they care. Seems like they jump scare me anyway. All right, I, I've reached the end. Hmm. Oh, there's one over there. Cool. I can't get it because a player collected. Oh, I thought I thought okay. I thought there was another player on in the game. Whatever. All right. So currently, I collected three out of ten custards, and I haven't seen the creepy cylinder tubby. Well, t I. Yeah, I know I collected 3 out of 10. Okay. Wait. Is this online? Gee, makes me wonder. Okay. Um. This is kind of boring. Hmm. Shoot! No! <laughs> it's a corner! Why did they do that? Why did they put corners? Okay. There, there's random hills just all around the place. That's, that's good to know. What's the lore behind this? Was there a Teletubby? Uh, stop freaking out. Okay. Goodness, the the controls in this game is awful. A player has collected three out of ten custards. It's really odd. I don't know what's going on there because like I'm the only one playing this game unless they're just like saying it over and over again. Okay, those shadows in the hills not very peasing. Um Ah Watch you Maybe he's just getting annoyed that I'm not finding anything. 
Okay, this got boring really quick. The atmosphere was great at the beginning because of the random ramblings and sounds, but then after that, it's just a it few like flashes on the screen and jump scares. I guess I'm gonna have to play this with some friends later, but there's a multiplayer option actually, so if you guys want to check that out with some friends, that'd be cool. Okay, so I'm sure that I made several roundabouts in the woods already, so we're just gonna actually head into. Oh! <laughs> we're just gonna head into the forest right now and hope that we don't meet whatever that guy was I don't know what this is like it just keeps flashing on the screen and it's not even making a sound effect if you guys can hear the sound it's just like flashing and goodness I hate that picture whatever okay if this is all the game has to offer I'm very disappointed okay I'm sorry I didn't mean to why did the tree fall? Okay, there's the cliff. I haven't seen any um, slender tubbies yet. Which is good. Okay, so there's random environmental um, hazards. I'm guessing like a tree falling. That's just grand. I heard that in like... There's supposedly a second and third version of this game as well. And the other two versions have actual storylines. But this one doesn't. It's sort of like Slender Man, and then they created Slender the Arrival. And I walked into a tree. I'm almost getting ready for another flash very soon, because it's been too long. Can you even die in this game? Okay, so far, it's flashed on the screen about, like, three times, if I remember correctly. Which means... Alright, normally, what, there's like, uh, games give you, what, three chances or five chances. So, you're either going to die after three or you're going to die after five. And there's already been three chances given to me, so, I don't know what to expect. Other than there's this ridiculous number of, oh, we're going to raise our game from Slenderman. We're going to make it eight custards instead of seven, what, eight pages. This is ridiculous. Okay, and those flashes obviously only occur on certain points, because it's not... Okay, that's not exactly a drum. There's like a full-on orchestra following me now. Oh gosh, I'm sweating like nobody else's business. Okay, so, um... It seems like that guy flashes on screen whenever, uh... Like he catches me or something like that? I don't know. Fallen trees... nothing going on this is the most boring let's play in let's play history <laughs> oh, son of a gun okay um <sighs> mm. multiplayer is going to be a lot more fun though that's for sure okay let's see if we can explore back here because like can we explore back here Oh, wait. Never mind, this is all just disappointment. Mm, that's, those are the hills that I saw earlier that I don't... Okay, press the record button. Yeah. Yes, okay. Forward, forward, forward. Okay, put it back on. I, I think we're okay. I hope we're okay. If we're not okay... Hey, guys. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, we're at 4 out of 10. I'm sweating like nobody's business. The camera's all messed up. Because I've got a minor problem right now, and we just saw it tell me hang themselves, and I'm just jumping all over the place. I'm not even sure how this is gonna pixelate properly. Okay, we're good. Yeah, all right, we're back in business. And there was a purple tell me which I'm probably gonna freeze later on. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters right now. I just want to find the ten, finish the let's play, and go home. There's nothing happening. Why am I freaking out? Stop showing the walkthrough video on the lower right-hand corner. I don't need this right now. Stupid chat box. Mm. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so we're, we're four out of ten custards, guys. And we gotta find ten custards. So, how are you guys doing? Um, it's been really hot where we are right now, so... Yeah. How long have we been recording for? Oh yeah, the thing's messed up because it only records sessions, and 
I have three recording sessions right now. And I'm getting kind of desperate. And I want my custards. And if it... No! Why is this not moving? Okay. And if it jump scares me one more time, I'm quitting. Because I find no point. And again, it fudge you! Screw it! No! Queen the game. Yeah, guys, that was that was Slender Tubbies. Um, there's, was it interesting? No. Was I panicking over everything? Yes. Um, if you're in a calmer environment, like maybe I'll play this again with some other YouTubers. But it's very, it's a very paranoid type of game, and it doesn't seem like you can die. Which I have a very big problem with. But then again, maybe it's better this way. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below. You sadistic little pieces of wonderful people that you are. Subscribe for more of my content. I'll see you next time.